Hi, so in this video I want to try and do something a little bit different. I'm going to be using the Forever Lovely stamp set again. And I've used this stamp set quite a lot, but I want to show you how versatile it is and how you can use it in different ways and mix it in with other things. So I've been looking through YouTube and Pinterest and things like that, and I've seen a lot of one sheet wonders done. But I want to try and do something a little bit different. So this is my take on a one sheet wonder. So what I'm going to be using are the Stampin' Up note cards and envelope, envelopes. These are thick whisper white and they're pre-scored and you fold them in half and you've got an instant card. So from this one sheet of six by six and just half a sheet of coloured cardstock, this is Flirty Flamingo, and half a sheet of regular Whisper White, I'm going to make four cards. They're going to be quite simple cards, but you know, if you're a beginner card maker or you're new to card making, I want to show you how you can make something that is simple but very effective. So from this stamp set, I'm going to be using this flower and this leaf. And to save some time, I've already stamped my flowers and I've fussy cut them out. Now I fussy cut them with the scan and cut, but this is a really easy shape for you to cut by hand with some scissors. Or there is in the catalogue, a thin little framelit set that goes with this stamp. So you could use that. So that I've done that just to save time. From each of the half piece of Whisper White and Flirty Flamingo, I've cut three two inch circles and two two inch squares. And from the Flirty Flamingo, I've cut three two and a quarter inch circles and two two and a quarter inch squares. These are gonna be used as the decoration for the front of my card and they're gonna layer up. Now, I've cut an extra two and a quarter inch circle and an extra two inch circle because I'm going to be making a box to go with this project which I'm not going to be showing you how to do now, but I have made a video on how to make it and I'll show you it at the end. And then I'll tell you at the end of the video how you can get to see the box being made. I'm using a happy birthday stamp, which is from a retired Stamping Up set, but there are lots of happy birthday stamps available in the current catalog and I'll link to some with the rest of all the supplies under the video and I've mounted up the leaf already and then the only other two things I'm using I'm using flirty flamingo ink and granny apple green so the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to cut the paper to get all the elements you need to make these four cards. I'm going to line it up in my trimmer at two and a quarter inches. Then I'm going to rotate it and I'm going to cut it at four. So I've now got a piece of four and a piece that measures two inches. I'm going to bring this paper back in and rotate it so it's back in the correct orientation. And I'm going to take one inch off here. I'm going to now cut this at three. And then this piece that I've got left, I'm going to rotate and I'm going to cut at one and a half inches. So there are all the elements that I'm going to use. So I'm going to bring my first card in. I've already folded it and burnished it with my bone folder, but I'm just going to open it out to work on it. I'm going to take my first piece that I cut from this strip and I think that's going to go just centrally on the card. I'm 
and then I'm going to see whether I want to put a square or a circle. I think a circle is going to be better for this one. Or I don't know whether I might turn it this way. and put that in the middle. I'm just going to lay them out and then see what I think. So I'll leave that there as, as, a, as one option. Going to bring my next card in. <clears throat> With this one, I am going to use the bigger piece. And I think I'm going to position that up near the top. And then what I might do is cut some strips off here. So let's try. I think I'll cut three quarters of an inch. And half an inch. these up on top I think or something like this and then with this one I might use the square so that's another alternative but I might change them around in a few minutes I'm not sure I'm going to bring my next card in I'm going to bring in the thin strip And the smallest one. And again, I might try the square. Do I put that one that way? Maybe. And maybe turn that one around. And then I'll bring my last one in. And I've got these two pieces left. And then I've got my circle. I don't know whether that needs a piece across it or not. So I'll cut another piece. See what we've got. Do another, might do a half inch piece this time. Half inch and a quarter of an inch. Maybe layer that up and put that on like that, possibly. So I've still got some scrap left that I could use. And then I'm gonna do some stamping and I'm gonna use these flowers that I've already cut. So I think what I'll do I'll move each one to the side for now and I'll start with this one. So I'm going to start by sticking these two pieces to the card. So 
So I'm kind of sitting it centrally. And I'll put this one so it matches. And I'm looking to leave a gap at the bottom that's similar to the gap at the top. Line those two up. I'm going to bring in my silicone mat. So I think that's going to go across the card there. So I'm just going to turn this over and trim it. not stuck that on very straight but so that's the first one so I think I'll assemble all the cards then I'll show you how I'm going to decorate them all need my silicone mat for this one because the strip's a bit wider. And I think this one will probably go down here. I'll cut it just a little bit bigger and then I'll trim it off when I get it into place. That's my next one. This one is just fairly simple. This isn't having any card or anything. Just going to stick this one fairly central. Yeah, I think I'll just have this one with this. So I'll leave that for now. That one I think was going to go with that one, wasn't it? That one was going to go with that one. Okay, so that's what we're looking like so far. So I'm just going to put all the little layers with each card for now and then hopefully I won't get them mixed up. So my idea is I'm going to use these flowers with each one of these. So I want to do a bit of stamping and a bit of layering up. bringing in my leaf and my granny apple green
and I'm just going to stamp. Let me just double check where this is going. I'm going to want that near the top. So about a third from the bottom of the, this two inch circle. So I'm going to stamp and then stamp again without inking. And I'm going to do the same. going to ink up the greeting and I'm going to stamp that above I'm going to take one of my flowers put a dimensional on the back And I'm going to lay that on the bottom so it kind of just overlaps ever so slightly. Then this I'm going to stick down flat. I'm going to bring my first card back in and I think I'll put dimensionals on the back of this. And if you press them with your fingernail, they kind of start to lift up to make them easier to peel. So I think that can go just in the middle, like so. And then I'm going to leave it there because I may bling it up again in a few minutes. I'm going to bring the next one in. I don't know whether to put this at the bottom or whether to, I might, I think I'll put it on an angle. So I'm going to bring this one in. I'm going to stamp the greeting first. And you know, this could be anything. This could be thank you cards. It could be invitations. I'm just doing it as a set of birthday cards and I am going to be giving this away. So stay till the end. And you can find out how to win this. I'm going to bring the leaf back in. And I'm stamping once and then I'm stamping again so I get the two different colours. Just going to turn the leaf round. And I'm not, you know, particularly bothered if I go over the edge of the card or the word, to be honest. <clears throat> Bring another one of the flowers in, another dimensional on the back. Again, I think I'll stick this down flat. this one up. So that's how that one's looking. So that's two. in the greeting again <clears throat> so you can see how just with a simple design and a greeting and a few small elements 
you can make some really nice looking cards. So tell me what you think. Do you use the note cards and envelopes from Stamping Up? If you don't, is it something that you, you think you might like to have a try with? Leave me some comments in the box underneath the video. So we're nearly finished. We're on to our last one. Got bits of dimensional paper all over the place. And my leaf. This one I think is going to sit like this. I'm going to put the lids back on the ink because I think I've got a bit of ink on this one already. So let's just burnish these and then see if we can bling them up a little bit. So that's the first one, that's the second one, that's the third one, and that's the fourth one. I'm going to add a little bit of Wink of Stella to give them a bit of sparkle. Just on the flower and you're probably not going to be able to see this on camera but it gives a lovely little very soft glitter effect again these are available from stamping up so they'll, all the information for all of this will be listed underneath as I say I'll post you an alternative birthday stamp because the one I've used is out of um, is an old one, but there are lots of happy birthday. So there are the four cards. Now you could decorate up the envelopes. In fact, I think I will. So let's just do this quickly.
do it in the flirty flamingo, put it on the so that's the envelope. I'm trying not to get ink all over me because that's what I tend to do when I'm stamping. And that's why I love using these little ink pads because I don't tend to stick my fingers in them as much as I do or did in the past when I used to use the big stamp pads. We're nearly there. Just going to move everything out of the way. I've got a spare flower which I could have used if I wanted to somewhere else, but I think what I've done so far, I think is okay. But you know, or in fact, I've got a bit of. I could always take that one off there because I've got a bit of. Um green ink on that one so I think what we'll do is I'll replace it with my spare oops get rid of that just put my last little bit of wink of Stella on here So I've got four envelopes all decorated, I've got four cards, from that little project. Now what I'm going to show you now is a box that I've made. I'm not going to be posting a video publicly on how to make this box but if you go to my blog the link will be underneath the video for the cards and sign up for my newsletter I will send you a link to a video showing how I made the box there you go what do you think okay so if you want to win the project Providing you live in the UK, I will draw a name at random and I'll give the whole project away. If you want to know how I made the box, subscribe to my newsletter. There'll be links underneath this video along with all the product links. It will also, there's a link also on my blog to my newsletter. I will send you the information about how I made the box. So I hope you like the project. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you've got the bell notification icon switched on and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.